above normal conditions will continue across New Mexico. Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz has your forecast. Uh, that's right. It was just a uh, beautiful flying weather for today. We're, we're going to continue with the temperatures closer to record rather than normal levels. We're going to continue with the sunshine and dry conditions across the area, but uh, favorable flying for balloon fiesta tomorrow. And I think we could get nine out of nine days of flying. Uh, the weather pattern looks that consistent. Uh, so tomorrow for the big balloon launch would be flight of the nations, 48 degrees, seven o'clock in the morning, and then it'll pop off around uh, 56 degrees around nine. Winds look to be light out of the north uh, for the surface conditions. Conditions and looks to be light aloft as well. So that's going to set up for what I think is going to be a really good flying day. I think the Albuquerque box will be in play at times too. And then you see high pressure to the south of our area. With that in our proximity, we're going to keep with the warm temperatures. And there is a little bit of moisture creeping in, but it's just isolated gusty storms mainly across the higher terrain. So not much of a player there. As we check out conditions tomorrow morning, uh, 7 o'clock, 56 degrees in the Albuquerque area. As we warm into the afternoon, again, the normal high for this time of year, 74 degrees. So we're going to be 84. So again, above normal temperatures will be in play with a good amount of sunshine and the winds will be on the light side. Seven o'clock in the morning. Here is your planner. And as we go into the afternoon, we're talking about above normal heat throughout our entire viewing area. 77 in Durango, 92 Carlsbad, 87 in Deming. And then we'll see uh, northeastern parts of the state still in that warm sector. And that's going to be the play over the next several days. There will be some lowering in temperatures as we get into the latter portion of the seven day forecast. Now for a time the uh, Milton was uh, category four and when it was a category four you see the eye was not that developed but look how the eye reemerged and that's a sign of strengthening so back up to 165 mile per hour winds. So it's a strong category five. It's still forecast to weaken to some degree, but coming into Tampa at a major hurricane, which will be a major large hurricane. I mean, there's just going to be all kinds of problems. You just got to get people off the shore and look at maintains hurricane strength all the way across Florida. As we look at the potential storm surge, 15, 10 to 15 foot is what it could take with that water coming on shore. This would be the worst since 1921. So so uh, they're really under the gun, as you would expect, and the wind field will be strongest to the west, but continue even with category one strength as it exits the area. As we check out the four cores region forecast, lots of sunshine. We'll have lots of warmth as well. The mornings will be chilly and daytime highs in the dry air mass will be well above average southwestern parts of the state, warming in the 80s and 90s from Socorro on into truth of consequences and the warm weather will continue over the next several days. There should be a backing off the high pressure later in the seven day forecast, which will allow temperatures to start to lower a little bit, but look at the hot 90s, Roswell, Artesia, Carlsbad and Hobbs, 70s and 80s from Ruidoso on into Alamogordo and the hot 90s will be in play over the next several days from Cedar Crest on into Raton, Las Vegas, Moriarty, above normal daytime highs, but there is that next cold front coming in on Sunday, dropping temperatures into the lower 70s, looking for a 76 to 82 from Taos on into Española and as we look at Santa Fe, upper 70s over the next several days, but a lower of the daytime highs as we get deeper into next week and the metro area. Well, there you have it. We'll have a refreshing start with above normal temperatures in the afternoon. We're going to be challenging those record temperatures for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're looking for that high pressure to back off a little bit as cooler air works into the northeastern part of the state and with all that going in play, we'll see uh, daytime highs get into the upper 70s by Tuesday of next week. So uh, there you have it. We're in for good flying weather, I think. I think we can have good flying weather, like 9 out of 9 between mm -hmm. now and Sunday. I'm just throwing it out there, letting people know.